Good news for the entire arm wrestling community. Georgi Svetkov's foot will not be amputated. It was a scary news at first, but hopefully everything is okay now. So in this video, we will discuss Georgi Svetkov's current condition. Sandre Sedis made a video about some complaints that he had regarding the Ibrahim Sagov match, which he lost. Travis Bagent not only announced his comeback, but he's going to be the number one arm wrestler once again. Then some updates from the Engin Terzi recent live stream about Devin Larratt, Levan Saginashvili and Zaur Paizulayev. So today I got to know about Georgi Svetkov's current foot condition. We saw that he broke his ankle about three weeks or so ago and he was kind of struggling with it since then. But he still decided to compete. What kind of warrior he is. And... I'll not say that we should truly respect that because I would have respected it more if Georgi Svetkov took better care of his health. Even Engin Terzi was saying that if the condition was that serious, he should not have competed. Competition is not beyond health. Competition is probably not beyond your life. For sure, not probably. So I saw some posts as well which were saying that Zaur Pezulayev apparently posted on some Russian arm wrestling news channel that Georgi Svetkov told him that his foot will be amputated. This is what the doctors told Georgi Svetkov. This is something that the arm wrestling community has never seen before and I hope this is something that we will never see before. We get arm breaks, still I haven't heard about an arm amputation. For some of the non-English speaking viewers, from non-native English speaking countries, amputation basically means cutting off a limb from your body. So the good news posted on social media once again confirmed by Zaur Pezulayev apparently, which I have not asked him personally, that the surgery was done yesterday and there is no longer any requirement for amputation. So that's a big sigh of relief for me, for Georgi obviously and for the entire arm wrestling community. I hope that maybe what do we need to do now? Do we need to have some doctors clearing the arm wrestlers to arm wrestle just like they have in fighting games, in boxing, in UFC? Because arm wrestlers will do anything to compete and win at that big stage. Engin has created such a huge, huge reputable and respectable organization that people will literally die to compete there. So this is something that Engin needs to discuss at a very high level. Maybe, maybe with some other promoters, maybe with the top athletes, they shouldn't be risking stuff like that. So that's the good news. He will be okay soon. Travis Bajant made a community post. Well, I'm thinking about YouTube community posts too much. He didn't make a community post. It was a Facebook post saying new mission, be the number one arm wrestler in the world once again. So I hope he's not joking, but... 90% chances that he is or maybe it was his wife who got tired that Travis is not the best guy once again and she was just having fun with his Facebook. But Engin Terzi did confirm that Travis Bajant will be competing in July with the right arm and in August in the Orlando Florida event East vs West 14 with the left arm. I hope the left arm opponent is not Devon Larratt because that will be a mismatch. Travis can hype things up because of his past but I don't think he's there yet. Or now he can be or maybe he cannot be but for sure not now that's not the match that I would like to see Engin did comment about Devon's comments about dropping down weight categories he said that he doesn't really think so it's his opinion that Devon will compete in 105 and 115 for some time because he has had many super matches in the super heavyweight category but eventually he will go up once again this is what Engin believes this is what we also think there are so many good matches for Devon and for the entire arm wrestling community. The money matches for the promoters that Devon can still have in the super heavyweight division. Levan Saginashvili will be competing this year and it will be at king of the table, not at east versus west. And Zaur Pezulai will be competing in July at east versus west. So these were the updates from the recent Engi Terzi live stream. And once again, please message Georgi Svetkov if you can. Wishing him speedy recovery and wishing him luck in the future. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe.